streets. Yeah. Because of what I was taught, how not to react to situations inside. For the sake of everything yeah, that shit. you have to lose. Yeah. What's some of the shit you feel like a rapper just can do to avoid goddamn just a situation? Any type of situation. What like these day, like that you gotta do different. These day, like since you came home, you see like, no, nah, I gotta do this now, I can't be doing that type of shit no more. Man, the best thing I can tell a nigga is, man. Stay out the way. Take yeah. care of your business yeah. and duck off. Yeah. Because yeah. them feds ain't gonna play with you. And a nigga in the street that don't got nothing ain't gonna play with you. Mm. Ain't now one of them gonna play Facts. with you. So if you got something going on and you and you prospering in it and you wealthy, you making a difference for your family, for yourself, your future, man, do the right thing, man. Stay out the way, man, because get what? That's all I do. I go in, you can ask my guys, man, when it's over with, when I'm done taking care of business, man, send me in, because I know at the blink of an eye at a gas station, me, uh-huh, get, me getting out, getting a bottle of water, a, a, a nigga who might not like me because of what he see, or his bitch might like me, or whatever, this nigga <laughs> might feel like, fuck this nigga, I'm finna try, he might be drunk, high, you know, all the drugs that got going around today, he might say, fuck it, I'm finna shoot with these niggas, now there it is. I, I done got violated for this nigga, so I don't even want to stop at a gas station for real. Take me to the spot. I'm yeah. trying to get in. And yeah. I ain't ducking no red, but I'm just being, I'm being small and not hard. That's, That's what I get now. You got shit to lose. You like, see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and I done already been down that road. Yeah. I done already been down that road, so I get it now. Experience is the best teacher, though. Too many times. Yeah. The, and I'm going to be honest, the first three, four times I went to jail, you want me to be completely honest with you? Totally, this big facts. I knew I was going back because I wasn't ready mentally. I wasn't ready. Like, mm-hmm. every time I got out of jail, I knew I'm going to go sell me some dope. I'm going to go to the track and shit. Whatever happened, happened. I don't want to. Yeah. But if it happened, I got to do what I got to do because I ain't got nothing. Now, I yeah. always had talent. Yeah. But I didn't believe in it. Back then, 2010, 2009, you weren't just doing no social media. So it wasn't, nigga wasn't just taking off on the rap shit. You couldn't just freestyle on the table and make something out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like today, you can, you can, like today, right now, I can bump a freestyle on the table and it'll go viral. Go viral. Go viral. Yeah, somebody went and, and people want yeah. and people want to deal with you. Yeah. But back then, you couldn't do that. So it was on like, MySpace and all that kind of shit. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so, yeah. so back then it was different, and I ain't, you know. So you know, that's my answer to that. But now it's like. This shit's so easy now, and with my talent, and with the people I got behind me, and the but people no. that, you know what I'm saying, like, they, they support me, like, my team, and Junior, and Christian, no. like, these people here for me, so it's like, right. all right, I got a team now, I got a family now, I got a home now, and these people want to see me win, so they motivate me even And they're more. depending on me not to fail. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. So, you know, that's my answer to that.